Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we got Salty, because we're doing a, uh, we're helping Amaz uh, uh, Professor Amazov. Yeah, I think that's right. Whatever. And we're helping uh, the Professor and Hamela, uh, defeat monsters so we can investigate this tower. <sighs> yes. That's a mouthful. Anyways, yeah, so... We came down here to get help from the slime, sort of. And now we have an alliance. Monster and humans working together. Just like in Dragon Quest uh, 5. Anyways, let's. Uh, there's nothing else on this floor here. So let's just continue. Oh, look, a new enemy, level 8 slime. And he's stronger than the regular slime, obviously, because he's on level 8. Granted, level 8 isn't that good. He should be like a level 18 slime. Or something, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go up here. Let's, let's ascend the tower. That's right, ascend. It means to go upward. I'm your dictionary for today. Anyways, yeah. Nothing in, nothing too much interesting in this tower. Basically, the level cap for this area is level 32. This is a pretty good area to level up due to the fact that you have monsters from before. And look at that, we fight in Dumbabra, Dumbra, but with a new enemy, Mudman. Now you can run into these enemies in the past in Hamla, but I just didn't get a chance to show them off, sadly. So it's Muddy Man, and he's easily defeated with your maneuvers. Use sh I like using elemental slashes and stuff. Wind Beast, very good ability. Fireball, Fire Tower works pretty much all the time. Sometimes it don't work. But yeah, these abilities, I'm really like, not over leveled, but over ability. And that's because I've been I've been abusing the crap out of the uh, abusing the crap out of the level caps. And I, if you play this game, I would suggest abusing the crap out of the level caps too, just in case you want to get like a buttload of abilities. It's really nice. So it looks like we pick up crap, gold, and one other thing. There's one other thing here, and what is it? Oh, another tiny metal. Excellent. Excellente. And now let's... See, this is as far as you can go if you did not have your slime friend. But since you have your slime friend... Since you have your slime friend, what the heck? Let's go. How are we gonna get in here? Not even I can get in, or Gabo. But, but Salchi can. Yay! Oh, he crushed Gabo and Marybelle. Oh, God. That was awful. He totally killed them. They're dead. Oh, they're fine. I'm just joking. And there's the door. Let's keep walking here. Now, I think there... Uh, I could... No, there's a treasure here. Yes, there's two tre... Well, one. And we get into a fight with some new enemies, which I think you could fight in the other tower. Or in the past. Chargon. They're like a breed of a dragon and like a bull or some crap, or something with horns. I don't know what. But yeah, let's keep going. Oh, Mad Pot. We beat him. Easy. Easy. And we get ourselves a Slime Heart, if you want to learn slime abilities. But I am not going to be using any uh, any monster hearts in this game, sadly. Well, not sadly, but I find human abilities are plenty. You don't really need the. Uh... Anyways, here's a here's a fight with three level eight slimes. But I want to show you what happens if you let them get too many of their buddies around. And now they're all merging. I do like showing off the uh, animation for that. Like, I couldn't get a chance. The first time that they could do this was in Dragon Quest VIII. I mean, Dragon Quest IV. And sadly, in my let's play of that, I didn't get to show it off. I think I showed it off in Dragon Quest 
five? Yeah, 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 I did. Dragon Quest six, I'm not sure if I did, but now I'm showing it off. I like to show off the animation of them all jumping together and merging. It's cool. And look at that. Gabo learned a new ability, Palsy Air. Which probably paralyzes uh, enemies with their, with his breath. Because it's that bad. So let's, uh, let's go up. Oh, the floor is unstable. I'm not listening to a slime. No, I guess he was right. Hey, you're not superior. So let's continue up the, uh... Up the tower. Basically, I did that sort of on purpose. So, I don't have to walk all the way around. I'll just go up the stairs. Like so. And look at that one on the top floor. I wonder what could be up. What kind of monster could be up here? Oh, he's not here. Yeah, why don't you be the bait, Salchi? Yeah, be the bait. He can't really be a man, because he's a monster. Uh-oh, here he comes. Oh, I guess we'll have to take care of the rest. Oh, it's just some giant flying thing or something. What the hell is it? Well, I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? And it's boss time! That's right. We're fighting the Giga Mute. I don't know what the hell that the Giga Mute, Mute means, but whatever. Anyways, this guy, basically we're going to use twin hits. I'm going to use the old psych up trick. And, uh, what the hell. We'll use Blizzard, because this guy is weak to ice. So we're going to do some nice damage to this guy. And basically, he's going to spew cold air. And that's going to hurt quite a bit. But I have an ability that will uh, negate that. Well, not negate it totally, but it's called Wool Guard. And basically, you learn that as a shepherd and it helps resist cold. And let's have Mary Bell use the hustle. Yeah, don't use, uh, don't use fire abilities in this battle because he's actually, uh, he's actually pretty strong to fire. So let's watch and see if he blows. Look at that. And look at the damage. Not that much. Tooks away, tooks away like 90% of that damage. It's beautiful. So now that Gabo's done that, let's use punch. Let's have it just keep hustling, I guess. Hustling, hustling, hustling. Or Anyways, yes, so Ice Slash, Punch, this guy's got over a thousand HP. And Blizzard, what the hell, why not? But we're, we're totally, like, just killing him. I love it. Not having any trouble. Just beating him to a pulp. Yeah, and basically... Wool Guard, I think, only lasts a few turns. <coughs> so you have to keep re, uh, re, re putting it on, sadly. It's not like a spell, which usually lasts a lot longer. As you can see, I'm getting hit pretty bad with it. It's kind of odd that he. It's kind of odd that he is weak to ice, but yet he blows ice and breath. And we beat him easily enough. Excellent. And Kenshin stole a fire shard? Well, if he doesn't steal it, you get it in the treasure chest that he leaves behind. But nice job. Now, oh man, he's just jumping down there. So yeah, that, that fight can be difficult if you're not, uh, you know. I don't know, I, I forget how you heal people, you know, all, all of your characters without the hustle. Jeez. Man, the hustle is one of those those abilities that's like so awesome and vital to get. I think that's why I learned I had Mary Bell learn to be a uh, a teen idol first because the hustle, the good old hustle, and that life song is pretty good too. Now let's check on the slimes down here. Oh, now we beat him for him. How about that? We're good. You remember that slime that used to live here in the past? Yeah, maybe these guys, these guys must be descendants of him. Or her. 
wonder how slimes reproduce. They must just like split off like amoeba or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, even Gabo just said the same thing I said. Or Maribel, I'm not sure. So yeah, let's go get our treasure from Amazov. Asimov. That's how it was said. Asimov. God, I can't remember how to say anyone's name ever. Anyway, so they're back in their house. Hello, yes we did. Yay, we did it. What? Wait a minute, hey, hey, hey. Where's our treasure? Yeah, you were supposed to give us treasure, what the hell? Now we'll have to go back to the tower and find out where he is. See ya.